The two interacting parts of the network layer are data plane and control plane. The forwarding function is performed at what we refer to as data plane. Data plane implements local per router functionality of forwarding, which determines how a datagram arriving on router input ports is forwarded to the appropriate router output port. Control plane implements the routing function. Its logic is network-wide. It determines how datagrams are routed among routers along the end-to-end -end path from the source to the destination throughout the network. There are two different ways of implementing the control plane functionality, distributed and centralized. The distributed approach, which is the traditional approach, is implemented in each and every router and works by exchanging information and converging on the decided paths. The more recent centralized approach, which is used in software-defined networking, or SDN, is implemented in remote servers that centrally perform the same task. In the distributed approach, or the per-router control plane, which is the traditional approach, Individual routing algorithm components run in each and every router, and they interact with each other in the control plane. They exchange information to converge on routing decisions, and write the forwarding tables in the data plane on the local router based on the routing decisions. This means that each router writes its own forwarding tables. In the logically centralized control plane, which is the more recent solution used in software-defined networking, a distinct central network controller, which is often a remote server, interacts with local control agents to decide the routes and write the per-router forwarding tables at the data plane accordingly. So, the decisions are made centrally and propagated through writing individual forwarding tables.